the Seattle Aquarium and our window on Washington Waters exhibit. My name is Nicole and we're coming to you live even though technically we're close to the public. We wanted to provide this virtual sneak peek of what's going on here at the Seattle Aquarium. We're practicing our social distancing while we're bringing you on this journey with us and I'm really honored to be joined by one of our essential staff. This is Diver Brianne. Hello everyone, good morning. Now, Brianne, typically in this exhibit, we have volunteers that dive here multiple times. Every single day of the week, they're helping us with maintenance, they're helping us feed and care for the animals, but we don't have our volunteers here with us right now. We miss them very much. What is it like to be an essential staff member during this time? Well, uh, we absolutely miss our volunteers, as you said, but uh, every day is different. We're adjusting to our schedules on a daily basis. We're very busy. It's an aerobic day for sure, but uh, we're make making it through. And absolutely having the time to work through every exhibit has been challenging, but we are trying to offer that same high quality care that we always do. Uh, even though we don't have volunteers diving in this exhibit every day, essential staff like Brianne are in this exhibit every other day currently. And I have to say, it seems that the fish are really responding to your presence. Absolutely. The, the fish in this exhibit are uh, accustomed to having a diver feeding them every day. And so the change to their schedule has been remarkable. But we are facing the beginning of spring. So oftentimes our animals are starting to increase their diets anyway. So this is a normal behavior that we expected to see. And this habitat represents a place right here in the Pacific Northwest which is where so many of the animals that live here in our care are featured. They're all local, native, underwater neighbors. And so all the fish that you see here are all native to the Pacific Northwest as well. This exhibit is a very special place. Exactly, yes. This exhibit is uh, designed after one of our dive sites in Via Bay, the northwest corner of the outer coast of Washington State. And we are, uh, as a team, the biologists go out to Via Bay for research and collection trips annually. Now, without further ado, because we know that we've got some hungry customers, let's do a little bit of feeding and learn a little bit more about some of the animals that live in this underwater habitat. Yeah. So I know we've got this beautiful, long, slender fish that's been hovering right beneath you. Tell us a little bit about her. Yes, this is a wolf eel. They are actually not a, uh, a eel. They are just a very long fish. They are common here in Puget Sound, also on the outer coast of Washington State. They li live in dead. They prefer uh, a dark, quiet space, maybe what many people at home are <laughs> experiencing right now. And in this habitat, there are five wolf eels. So if you happen to spot a little gray head poking out of the rocks somewhere in this exhibit, you have found the home of one of our wolf eels. But in total, Brianne, there are 20 different species of fish in this habitat alone. Absolutely. We have, we have log silverfish that are called salmon. Those are throughout the exhibit, schoolie. We also have a variety of rockfish species in here. They are going to be found mid-water throughout the exhibit. We also have some lower bottom-dwelling animals. So we have some greenlings and red Irish lords and a couple other species as well. Now, here's one of those large rockfish coming right on over to you now. Yes, this, this is a yellow eye rockfish. A yellow eye rockfish. Yes. So I meant to mention, Brianne, you have your goodie bag. We haven't talked yet about what kinds of food you prepare and feed the animals every single day. And you're doing all of that. You're doing the preparation. You're doing the feeding. You're doing the diving. What a busy day. It is. Yes. So we have a variety of food here in my little goodie bag. We have the small food like krill and chopped up anchovy. We also have slightly larger food like herring and squid for the full fields. Definitely. So as you continue to kind of toss out some of that food, we'll talk a little bit more about that. All of it is sustainably harvested. We follow the Seafood Watch program, just like the Monterey Bay Aquarium and so many other zoos and aquariums that are credited by AZA. Now, 
you have here your little yellow eye rockfish and you're going to be offering her perhaps some larger food items like the wolf eels. Yeah. They've got bigger mouths. They can eat bigger food. A lot of the smaller pieces of food, those smaller pieces of squid or chopped up uh, anchovy or krill are great for those salmon that we saw or some of the younger rockfish that are swimming around here as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'm going to do a, a broadcast feeding for our salmon here in just a moment. Wonderful. We'll see what that's like. Now, salmon are an iconic species here in the Pacific Northwest. In this habitat, we have both coho and sockeye salmon, but you'll also get to chan a chance to see a variety of other species. We've got some Chinook, the largest kind of salmon in one of our exhibits, our underwater dome. And the salmon again, the silvery fish, they're probably some of the most active and hungry fish in this habitat. And this is the time of year when the level of activity, not only for our wolf eels and our rockfish, but especially our salmon, is starting to go up. Their metabolism goes up as the water temperature slowly goes up. And what is the water temperature today, Brianna? I haven't been in this exhibit for a couple of weeks, so I don't even know. Currently, it is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, 48, it's gone up just a little bit. Yep. But every degree counts, and as a cold-blooded animal, when we enter into the spring season and the temperatures of our local waters start to warm up, all of these fish are going to be eating more, they're going to be more active, they're laying eggs in the exhibit, so we're seeing all of their natural behaviors, all of the different phases of their life cycle unfold right before us. Exactly. So right now I'm still feeding away some of these hungry mouths. We have a few wolf eels in this exhibit. So I'm trying to pay out food for everyone. And it's probably hard to keep track because you are very popular right now. Exactly. <laughs> well, Brianna, we want to thank you so much for joining us today for a little sneak peek inside of our window on Washington Waters exhibit. We're going to let you get back to all of your work, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your dive. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day, and stay safe out there. Thanks for joining us here at the Seattle Aquarium today. Thank you.